What is good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we have probably, at least in my opinion, like, I know this is kind of just off the cuff, like, this kind of comes at us really, really quick-like, but we may have one of the best WWE action figure reveal days I've ever seen. It's it's pretty insanity, at least. I, I love a lot of the figures we got today. I don't want to talk out of pocket, man, but we have some really insane things that got revealed to us today, and I just want to get into it with you, man. We got some brand new action figure reveals today, and it's just insane. We had some stuff revealed today that we have been asking for, for years, some things that we've been waiting on for a long time. It's got updated tech. There's just a lot of things to divulge in today, man. But we had some brand new reveals. I guess without New York Toy Fair, this is kind of their way of giving us New York Toy Fair. It's kind of just these reveals posted up to WWE.com. But oh my God in heaven, this looks insane. I cannot wait to get into it with you, man. So I'm just going to shut the hell up and dive straight into it. And I think we got to start this off, first of all. We got to start this off with this because this is something that I have been clamoring for for years. If you have been a fan of the channel, you know I've been waiting on this forever. So, man, let's just go ahead and get into it, man. WWE Elite Ruthless Aggression Wave. We have a wave of Ruthless Aggression only figures. They told us that this was not feasible years ago. They've told us this multiple times in Q&As and stuff that this is just not something they're looking to explore. But finally, Brad, finally we get to see some Ruthless Aggression figures, man. And then the first wave right here, we have Brock Lesnar, Batista, and Shawn Michaels, and they look incredible, man. We have a Brock Lesnar here with the Undisputed championship. Now this is kind of like a, it's kind of weird because I have a fix-up that's so very, very similar to this. I don't know the exact trunks that he's going to come with, but this head sculpt has been used. I think it was the ringside exclusive Brock way back in the day, but this figure looks insane. You got the double jointed arms in there, but it's really cool to see a full release of this. I don't know exactly what the trunks are going to be, but it's just mind-blowing seeing this right here. Love the way Brock looks, man. I had to get on here and address the ruthless aggression wave first because you guys know how long I've been clamoring for this. If you're a fan of the channel, you know how long I've been waiting on this and requesting this. I request this almost daily. Next up in the wave, guys, we have Batista right here, and this Batista looks insane, man. We have the gold trunks here from his Evolution days. This figure looks insane as well. I'm sure it's going to have double jointed arms. They're using one of the Ultimate Edition head sculpts. Oh my god. God, what a beautiful figure, man. What a beautiful figure, but just the um, just getting Batista figures. That's what we've been wanting and clamoring for. Getting more Batistas. This is hopefully one that's easy to obtain. That way, you know, you can get those fix-ups and customs in there. It is Walmart exclusive. I hope that these freaking rain on the stock of the shelves, just like the Hollywood wave, right? I hope they pack this figure and this wave entirely. I hope they pack it up, man. I hope they're, these are just all over the shelves for everybody to get, but Batista looks wonderful, and then we also have Sean Shawn Michaels in the beautiful long pants gear. We have been requesting Shawn Michaels in his Ruthless Aggression style get up for years, man. And we finally have it right here. What a clean attire. What a clean figure. I know they went with the basic 100 head, but it looks pretty damn good. I'm glad they didn't go with the same WrestleMania head sculpt. They actually gave him the basic 100 head. It has the 5 o'clock shadow. He does have the white wrist tape. What a beautiful looking figure, man. I am so excited to have a Shawn Michaels in full gear. I'm literally giddy right now. It makes me want to yell. Seriously, this is insane, man. What a beautiful figure. Shawn Michaels, Batista, Brock Lesnar. Couldn't think of a gr uh, a better first wave, honestly. This is a great first wave. Fantastic. I don't know if we... Even if it just goes two or three waves, man. Even if it's just two waves. I still think that we have accomplished a lot here. With the long pants Shawn Michaels, a early Batista, a redo of Brock Lesnar here in his Ruthless Aggression look. I mean, good God in heaven. I would imagine that next wave is going to get really intense. I could see us getting a Hulk Hogan. I could see us getting a John Cena. I could see us getting potentially a Randy Orton, maybe a Triple H. I mean, there's so many different guys that they can make. So hopefully this will not be the end of the wave. I hope that we get five, six, seven, eight waves of this. I would love to, for this to be a staple at Walmart, just like the Legend series is at Target. Hopefully that'll be the case. We'll have to see about that. But those are the first three figures I wanted to cover. Next up, man, we have some Ultimate Editions. Look at this right here. Ultimate Edition Shawn Michaels, bro. This Shawn Michaels looks so good. I love this Shawn Michaels. This may be one of my favorite Shawn Michaels that we've ever seen. I love the knee pads. I love the gear. I love the head sculpt. They, uh, they, I will say the one where he's got like kind of like his mouth open isn't my favorite where he's kind of like you know what I'm saying it's hard to even describe what he's doing there but I do like the mouth open head sculpt I like the different things we got going on I don't know all the accessories that he's going to come with he does have butterfly 
of joints. He has great looking wrist tape. I like this figure. I actually do. I, I like the Shawn Michaels a lot. I'm excited for it. I think he's going to be very poseable. I think people, you know, if you missed out on that first go around for Shawn, this is another great one. I love the entrance gear. The entrance gear looks really good as well. I love this Shawn Michaels. Really beautiful looking figure. Again, adding to the shot. Two new Shawn Michaels revealed today. Sign me up. Actually, three if you count the little retro style, you know, WWE superstars figures that, you know, we got shown today. But let's move on, guys. We also have a look at the Ultimate Edition. Not only Hulk Hogan, but Mr. T. And this Hulk Hogan, I don't want to be crazy. Now, I'm not the biggest Hulk Hogan fan, but this may be the best Hulk Hogan they've made to date. I like the skin tone that we got going on. I will say that his torso looks to be a little bit darker than his arms. I don't know if that's going to change. It does look like his torso is a tad too dark compared to the arms and the head sculpt. But it's still a really looking, you know, it's a really good looking Hulk Hogan figure. I like the world title. I like the accessories he's going to come with. You know, he's got the ripaway shirt. I think Mock, the figure, will look beautiful as well. That's kind of a better take on the Survivor Series figure, if you will. So I think this looks great. It actually has the good torso on there that people enjoy. So hopefully that, you know, gets the stuff brewing there. But really good-looking Hulk Hogan right here, man. I think Hulk Hogan fans are going to be excited for it. Not only that, guys, but we also have the Ultimate Edition Mr. T. Now, I love Mr. T, and a lot of people probably don't like this as an Ultimate Edition. It's not my favorite, but it's still a really cool figure. You have sort of like the repeat heads that we saw with the, you know, the, the San Diego Comic-Con exclusive. He is going to come with this Hulkamania hat. He's got the Hulkamania shirt. He's got the robe. He's got, you know, the, the Flexum bar right there. He's got his, his red tights here with the short boots. Not my favorite figure, but still a cool release. You know, it is what it is. It's not my favorite release of all time, but I do like it. I like the serious face sculpt. I think it'll be a cool release once we get it in hand, and we'll have to see, you know, what comes of it when it comes out. But uh, I, I think a lot of people will probably agree that they'd rather see somebody else in this spot, but it's still a really good looking figure overall. And I like Mr. T, so I'm not going to crap on it any more than other people are. I actually like it. Next up, man, let's get into this Legends Wave, bro. Look at this Legends Wave right here. Legends Wave 15, I think it is. We have Ruthless Aggression World Tag Team Champion Kane. Look at this figure and look at this head skull, bro. Oh my god. I don't think we had any other images of this cane. But this cane looks insane. I love that they gave him the Randy Orton hands for his, his pose in the middle of the ring to make the fire, you know, come up out of the turnbuckles. I love the gear that we're getting here. Just phenomenal, man. He's got the double jointed arms. This is a beautiful cane. This may be one of the better canes I've ever done. I love the head sculpt. I love the way it looks. I think that, that they finally gave us like a newer, like it doesn't look removable. I think this is kind of a, a newer mask sculpt and face sculpt, if I'm not mistaken. I could be wrong about that, but I want to say that this is a new mask sculpt. And it looks really, really good. I like it. I like the likeness. I think it looks fantastic. Not only do we have Kane in this wave, man, but we also have Stacy Keebler. Did you think you were going to click on this video and see a Stacy Keebler elite figure? No, you didn't. You didn't think so. I don't think you did, Brad. This looks insane. Double jointed arms. She's got her full get up there. She's got her long legs. She has her glasses. She has her interchangeable head sculpt with the hair down. Wow. Clipboard accessory, bro. This is the last thing that I expected to see today. A Stacy Keebler Elite. I didn't even know that that was even possible. So they have just been busting out the figures today, man. They they have knocked it out of the park today so far with these figures. Not only do we have a Stacy Keebler and Kane, but we also have this X Pac. Now we knew X Pac was coming. We knew that X-Pac was going to be in the Legends wave, and I think that they nailed it here, and we finally have it in, in image here. We have a leather jacket and camo pants with the helmet, full DX now, in our get-ups here for our Legends waves. You guys know that we had Triple H, we had Billy Gunn, we have Road Dog coming, we have China coming down the line, we also have X-Pac now to complete the set, and they did a gear that we have not yet seen. You have his red, black, and white gear. I would have loved it if they actually did his gear that is just like this, except the red is in the volt green or the DX color green. That's actually my favorite gear that he ever wore, so if we would have got that, it would have been an even crazier day, but I still like the red. I still think it looks really sick. I don't know. Is there? A, did they announce a Chase variant for this for this wave? I don't even know if they released the Chase variant just yet, or is it Lex Luger? I think it's Lex Luger. Just yeah, I think it's Lex Luger actually. So they have announced the Chase for this wave. We'll show you the Lex Luger in just a second. But I would have loved to have seen X Pac in the in the green and white. But it's still dope. I still like it a lot. I, I love the gear. I like the head sculpt going on. It's not the best head sculpt of all time, but you know it's a different take there. You can put the sunglasses on it. I feel like his head just kind of looks a bit squished there. So if it wasn't so squished, you could also switch it with the fan takeover or something like that. We're probably gonna do a fix-ups video on what you can upgrade about these figures possibly tomorrow. Let me know if you guys want to see that. But the last figure in the set is also going to be Lex. And he's looking pretty good. He's got his orange gear with his white boots. Those boots are so damn white you can barely even see them. Good lord. Not only that, but you also have the NWO Lex Luger. 
So, really cool, man. I think it's awesome to see this. And we get two different head sculpts on these, which is very wild. You have one with one head sculpt, and then the other with his, like, old head sculpt that he used to have. So, that's pretty cool. You get the ponytail head. Then you also get the, you know, the mullet-style haircut, pretty much. And they, they have their white wrist tape on there. Really good-looking gear. Uh, like, dude, I just love it. I love it. I, I'm so happy with today's reveals, man. It's, it, it cannot go without saying. I think they all look insane. But chucking right along, guys, we have more and more stuff going on here. So, we had the Ruthless Aggression Wave. We had the Ultimate Edition. We had our Legends Wave. We also have a look at some Elite Series 94 figures right here. Now, we have Brett the Hitman Hart. And this Brett Hart looks great. I think it looks great, except the head, man. They still are struggling on this head sculpt. I do not know what it is. I love the gear, and he is the Chase variant in the set. So you're actually going to get a black on pink, and then you're going to get a pink on black, which is great for some singles Bretts right here. I think they look insane. Uh, as far as that is concerned, I'm glad to see, you know, some Bret Hart's in the main Elite line. We have never seen that outside of the Elite 43, I think it is. So that's a nice take there, but still not 100% on the head sculpts. Uh, you, I'm not one to totally critique the Bret Hart figures. Like, I'm not one to dissect them fully like a lot of people like to do out there. However, I just think that, like, the hairline looks weird. Like, with the hair, like, with the glasses on, it doesn't look so bad, but then when the glasses are off, it looks a bit odd. Like, the shape is a bit off. I don't know about the likeness, though. You guys can let me know all that down in the comment section below we also have a look at british bulldog which is a different take on his elite 38 figure pretty much but he has a different torso he has the double joint arms i want to say this is the exact same head sculpt that we got with that figure from elite series 38 i could be wrong about that but we have nailed some of the figures in this set remember not too long ago we leaked out elite series 94 bret hart was on there british bulldog was on there and also this person was on there and that is going to be stephanie mcmahon we have stephanie mcmahon in her sm8 shirt this is exactly the look that i thought they would give us and here it is. I don't think it's bad. It's not a bad head sculpt. You got the double jointed arms on there. Women's championship. I hope to God that maybe we could get a Triple H in his full getup. You know, the defining moments that we got. If they could re-release that figure to match this figure, that would be really, really cool. So you have your Stephanie McMahon there with the shirt. Great looking figure and it's a great release here. I'm glad that they gave that to us. Looks really, really nice. And I think Elite Series 94 is shaping up. You have three flashbacks in the wave just right there. I think Edge is also in the wave. So that'll also be cool for, for that. So you got you got lots of stuff coming on there. And not only do you have them, but you also have Mace. So Mace's figure looks solid. Not my favorite head sculpt ever, but I do I do like how he has his long hair coming down right here. I like the mask and, and the different sculpts that we got going on. He's got some really unique molds going on, so that'll be really, really cool. I like the tights and everything. Just not my favorite character, right? Like, I think his figure looks awesome. He's very figuretic or toyetic, if you will. However, not my favorite. You guys know how I feel about Retribution. Just the whole thing was a total failure. But I still like the way, you know, he looks with the dreads and everything coming down. I still like the the molds and stuff we're getting hopefully I, I still think he's a sick looking figure so that'll be cool to have in figure form but he fits into our elite series 94 right there moving right along guys we also have a ringside exclusive hulk hogan right here and i think this is an elite i don't think this is an ultimate edition these are the only two photos we have here so we, so we do have our wolf pack nwo hulk hogan right here i like the tights i like the way they look and everything like that i think it's lacking some details here and there you do get your nwo championship and everything it's still a solid release you know it's not horrific it is Missing some in it does have its inaccuracies, of course, but you know, Hulk Hogan's are gonna sell like hot cakes, and they did give him like the skinnier torso compared to the one that everybody wants him to have, so that's a whole nother deal in itself. But uh, I still like the figure, I like the accessories and stuff. We'll have to see when it comes time, maybe. You know, it's not fully done. You guys can see the gloved hand there. Doesn't It kind of looks unfinished. So we'll have to see about that, see what he comes with. You know, the weight belts and all those different things, the different inaccuracies. We'll have to address that at a later date because this is the only photos that we have of the guy. But it is another ringside exclusive Hulk Hogan. It is another NWO Wolfpack ringside exclusive. That's kind of been like a theme. They've kind of knocked out a ton of them through ringside collectibles. So there is that. We also had some solid looking basics. Now I know you guys are going to be excited about this one because it's a really cool basic. And we do have Omos right right here, man. Look how big this Omos figure is. He is ginormous. His head sculpt looks just like him. What a great looking basic figure this is. I think that they nailed the head sculpt of Omos right here, and they did a really, really good job on it. So I, I like the Omos figure. I'm not big on Omos at all, but I still think his figure looks really good, and I'm definitely going to add this to the collection. This is a basic figure that we're definitely going to have to go out of our way to collect. We also have a look at an AJ Styles basic. Not too much going on with it. Same head sculpt we've seen a hundred times. I, I can't believe it. Like, we haven't seen an elite AJ with a new head sculpt in his ring gear in a very long time, so that's kind of shocking. 
shocking we didn't see one here today. That's kind of a blah basic. We also have a throwback John Cena basic with his, you know, his champ is here shirt. I know a lot of people would love to see this as elite. I do have a custom of this figure, but uh, it uses the basic series 100 head. And it's, I mean, it's a solid looking basic. You know, it is what it is. He is, you could throw, you know, one of your elite hats on there from that time period and complete that look if you wanted to. But there is our basic Cena from that wave. We also have the WWE Superstars figures. You have HBK, you have Kevin Nash, and you do have Scott Hall. So that's a cool little three-pack there. And I like the way those figures look actually a lot. And we also have a look at an Ultimate Warrior. So you guys can see all these different figures. I like the way these look. I wish that I had these from the beginning. I wish I had all of these mint on card and that would be something that i could continue but i missed the boat i think on that early i think unless this is the i don't i, I want to say these are ones that we've seen before yeah it's series two. i guess i guess i could jump in now it's only series two for some reason i was thinking it was like series five or something so i may need to if i'm gonna jump in there i need to jump in right freaking now but there's series two of that i may go back in and try to complete that or something i don't know that may be something to look into i'm running out of room over here though but i like the way these figures look a lot i like their little mini accessories and stuff they look pretty cool i like these figures a lot they kind of remind me of the Toy Story, like, Little Buzz, like, Happy Meal toy little story from, from Disney+. Plus. You guys know what I'm talking about. That's what these figures remind me of or something. I don't know. They kind of bring me some fun there. But there are those figures. We also have a couple ring playsets here to end the video. But we have, like, this Wreckin' crash and, crash and Crush bundle where it comes with, like, a motorcycle, Bobby Lashley, Drew McIntyre. Not my favorite deal here, you know. I, I don't know if I'll review this for you guys. You guys can let me know. But you do get, like, some accessories. You get the ring, the two figures, the motorcycle, the table, the chair, and the ladder. So that is pretty cool. It depends on what the price point's going to be to depend on, you know, whether you get it probably or not. But I still like the way the figures look and, you know, they're kind of updated there. So that may be something to look into for sure. We also have this other version, which is going to be the Rock and John Cena. And it's just a WrestleMania basic set here from WrestleMania. So you guys got the, you know, the WrestleMania logo. You got the Rock and John Cena. I'm sure that... Uh, these will fill up big lots pretty soon. So there is that. Not not too much going on with those. But that pretty much wraps up the day of the reveals, man. Probably the most insane thing ever. I know I, I feel like I, I rushed through it. I hope I didn't rush through it too quickly. I tried to, you know, my best to get all my thoughts out on the table. But all these figures look insane. Uh, one of my favorite days of reveals so far, man. Just really, really insane. Really beautiful looking figures. I love the way that the... Like, just the Ruthless Aggression Airwave. They just showed that off. I would have been completely satisfied, but I love the ultimates that we're getting. I love, you know, the Legends waves are just ridiculous. I did not see... I think the steal of the day has to be the Stacey Keebler. Who the, who the hell thought we were getting a Stacey Keebler lead? So that's out of left field, totally, totally shocking us, and just something that nobody saw coming. Those are the best, man. When you don't see... You know, in the, in the era of leaks and reveals and all these different things going on, and, you know, how close our hand is to the pulse of things coming, and that Stacey Keebler being dropped on us like that was really awesome. So I love that. And we also have that Ruthless aggression wave which i had zero clue was coming either so that's big man that is absolutely huge i also heard news that the ultimate edition brock lesnar and Shawn michaels the first go around from series four are going to get like a like a reprint like they're not going to re-release them necessarily but there's going to be more prints of those figures so there you go maybe you'll have a chance to get your hands on it man but that is going to wrap up today's video on the reveals man i had a ton of fun with these they look insane i love them you should love them let me know all your thoughts on these down below man i'm losing my damn mind over here but that is going to wrap it up, man. Thank you for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy. Let me know your thoughts down below, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Don't cross the line like me when I find these freaking Ruthless Aggression Era figures out in the wild. You cross the line.